Dubai is increasingly becoming recognized as the wonderland that it is. It has become one of the most popular tourist sites on the planet. Many people who get the opportunity to visit Dubai feel compelled to return. The city's grandeur and beauty have enticed businessmen and families from the world's most competitive and innovative cities to even purchase real estate. Welcome to Luxurious and Chic, where we will be showing you everything about luxury and help you experience the billionaire lifestyle. Today, let us see why people go from all around the globe merely to experience the city's luxury and why Dubai is dubbed as the world's most luxurious city. But first, how did Dubai evolve from a modest desert town to the opulent oasis it is now? Well, the same way that all of the other United Arab Emirates cities became so rich. Oil. 90 miles from Dubai is the richest city in the world, Abu Dhabi, which sits on 10% of the world's oil supply. Oil production launched the UAE into the first world. Millions were poured into Dubai, and it became one of the Middle East's most populous cities. However, oil barely accounts for 5% of Dubai's earnings today because its resources aren't as profitable as those of some of its UAE counterparts. The majority of Dubai's revenue comes from trade, tourism, and real estate. Since it can no longer depend entirely on oil production, Dubai has become the UAE's business capital. This change hasn't stopped this tremendously wealthy metropolis from expanding. Dubai's population is expanding at the same rate as its vertical growth. Did you know that Dubai is home to over a quarter of all cranes in the world? That's right! Approximately a quarter of all cranes in the world are concentrated in just one UAE city. Dubai's strategy appears to be to keep developing skyscrapers. The Burj Khalifa and the Burj Al Arab Hotel are two of these towers. The Burj Khalifa tower is over a half mile high. It's so tall, in fact, that the structure can sway several feet in the wind on its higher stories. The architects of this gigantic structure, on the other hand, did not overlook this. The sway of the Burj Khalifa was meant to be so slow that the vestibular system in the inner ear would not even notice it. If you're not bothered by the interference, this is the region of the ear that offers balance. The other hotel is the Burj Al Arab, a stunning five-star hotel located just a few hundred feet from the ground. The Al Arab is the world's fifth largest hotel. The hotel is 56 floors high due to its distinctive shape. Although it is officially designated as a 5-star hotel, some have referred to it as a 7-star establishment. The authority on the subject of luxurious hotels has not been resolved upon, so the 7-star label is open for argument. This hotel, 7-star or not, is truly wonderful. Staying a night in the royal suite at the Al Arab will set you back a little over $24,000. The Burj Al Arab's interior is covered in 1,790 square meters of 12 karat gold leaf. But nothing compares to the breathtaking views of the spotless city and the perfect scenery of the Gulf. The city is also interested in creating man made islands in addition to extraordinarily tall structures. Both the Palm Islands and the World Islands were hugely ambitious projects that were only possible thanks to a lot of money. The Palm Islands cost $12 billion to construct and consumed 94 million cubic meters of sand. To put it in perspective, 94 million cubic meters of sand would be enough to fill the Empire State Building twice and a half. The World Islands, or constructed islands that mirror the form of the world's land masses, required 321 million cubic meters of sand, adding to the cost of man-made islands in Dubai of another $15 billion. Alright, that's all there to say about man-made islands. Let us now turn our attention to the police force. But why the police force? Well, when it comes to luxury, law enforcement isn't generally the first thing that springs to mind, but it certainly is in Dubai. Dubai's police department uses supercars as patrol vehicles in order to entice tourists. This includes automobiles like the Ferrari FF, which costs approximately $500,000, the Lamborghini Aventador, which costs around $400,000, the Aston Martin 177, which costs over $1.79 million. You know, nothing makes a man feel more like James Bond than behind the wheel of an Aston Martin 177. Using these fantastic cars, though, is simply Dubai being Dubai. 
But hey, Dubai is the world's 8th safest city. Of course, this isn't entirely owing to the supercars. Due to the Islamic constitutional monarchy that runs the Emirates government, the UAE has severe rules in general. Some Sharia laws apply in Dubai as well, so if you're on a trip with your wife and want to check out the Buji police force, make sure you don't get caught smooching since you could be deported. However, because of the enormous volume of tourism in Dubai, other areas are significantly more permissive. In a conventional Middle Eastern atmosphere, serving alcohol would be prohibited. However, it is authorized in Dubai in some establishments such as hotels and nightclubs. Around 15% of Dubai's population is thought to be Emiratis, with the remaining 85% coming from outside the city. The workers who are constructing hundreds of skyscrapers account for roughly half of the population, which makes sense given the crane scenario. India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh account for the majority of these workers, which leads us to Dubai's less fortunate side. There is a significant class divide. Many immigrant workers work and live in deplorable conditions, yet Emiratis and upper-class foreigners receive highly competitive incomes. There isn't much of a mid-ground between class gap and Dubai, but there is always a sport to bring people together, just as there is in any country divided. At least, that's the plan. This sport is camel racing. Camel racing in Dubai is similar to American football in the United States. In addition, instead of using youngsters as jockeys, Dubai has begun to deploy robots. Camel racing, you know, has a shady history. It used to be that tiny children were forced to ride camels, which led to human trafficking in less developed areas. It still happens in the Middle East, but in Dubai, the kids have been replaced with bots. Some of these little robots can cost up to $10,000, believe it or not. Let's move on from camel racing for the time being. Dubai is working on some very crazy things. Dubai is aiming to construct a 4.3 mile long climate controlled sector of the metropolis. It was revealed when Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai's ruler, presented ideas for the Mall of the World, a 48 million square foot shopping mall. This miniature metropolis will have a collapsible dome and will house hotels and apartments in addition to serving a vast pedestrian mall. The gigantic building, which will include roads and parks, will more than double the size of Monaco. When you think that Dubai often experiences temperatures of 115 degrees Fahrenheit, the idea starts to make sense, but it starts to lose its appeal when you consider the expense. Although the cost has not been formally assessed, estimations in the tens of billions of dollars have been made. Keep in mind that the cost would be substantially greater if the workers weren't paid so poorly. The dome will contain a total of 20,000 rooms with 100 hotel and service units. It appears to be a daring architectural effort. Dubai has never been known to settle for less. Because of its rapid growth, Dubai has never adopted a standard address system. Instead of an address line on a mailing label, people could draw a map or write specific instructions until 2015. Thankfully, 10 digits have been established as addresses and I'm sure it's a lot easier to be a delivery driver in Dubai these days. To top it off, none of Dubai's ultra-wealthy residents send a penny of their income to the government. There is no income tax in Dubai, another factor that makes Dubai one of the most appealing places on the planet to live in. So there you have it, Dubai, the ideal blend of a cutting-edge infrastructure and natural beauty, culture, and technology. Who wouldn't want to live in Dubai with everything it has to offer? How about you? Do you want to consider living in Dubai? Tell us in the comments! And if you want to know about the most expensive things in the world, look inside the lives of the wealthiest people on the planet or how to achieve success in your life, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button!